Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Sithical here, and I'm starting a series on how to make a game and how to model stuff and just how to put um, just some basic stuff together to start your game. So, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a desert, uh, and I'm going to be using this in my own game, so I thought I'd why not share this with you, the world, and yeah, hopefully you can learn something out of this. So the... Yeah. <coughs> so we're using Blender here today. Uh, it's a free program, you can download it. Uh, I'm using version 2.79, which is the newest release. It's only been out for about two months. Uh, and it's very good. This is our first scene when you enter it. All you got to do is just code a file. New if you don't have this, and then just reload the startup file, and you'll just have a cube, a lamp, sorry, a camera, a lamp, and nothingness. Uh, if you want to look around, just press the your scroll wheel, and you can just rotate around by moving your mouse. Uh, you can go to the camera view by pressing zero on your number pad, and yeah. So we're just going to select this cube here by pressing right click. Uh, if you want to select anything just press right because that is the only way you can do it. Left just read aligns the 3D cursor. Uh, you do not really want that. If you want to reset the 3D cursor back to the original spot, click on this little arrow here, click on this little arrow here, and you can scroll down all the way to the 3D cursor and just type in 0, 0, and 0, and now it's perfectly aligned in the center. So I'm just going to delete this cube by right clicking on it once again, pressing X, and this will pop up this little window here, sorry, and you just press it, and boom, it's gone. Okay, so we're going to add a mesh by going over to the add tab, mesh, and then clicking on plane, and now we got a little plane, it's just 2D, nothing really fancy to it. So now we, what we got to do is make this plane bigger. So what we do is we just press S on your keyboard, and now we got this little. Uh, now the plane has got like a new little graphic on it. Don't move your mouse, and we're just going to simply type in on your keypad fifteen, and then just hit enter, and now you got a big giant plane. This is much better. We got. A plane. This is where all the magic is going to happen, and we're going to start adding stuff to it. So, first of all, we need to actually make it so that this plane can be edited and formed into the desert shape. Uh, obviously, there are sand dunes. So, in order to do that, uh, we need to actually subdivide the actual plane so that we can edit it on later and add all the bumps in. Don't worry, it's it sound it's a lot easier than it actually sounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to ob where it says object mode, click it, hit edit mode, and now we've got this new mode, you can also do that by pressing tab, so it's between object mode and edit mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to go off to the side here where it says subdivide, and we're going to click subdivide, and you should see something happen here, but don't click anything else, go to number of cuts down here, and just change it to 10. And now we've got multiple little squares on our plane, which is awesome, that's exactly what we need. And then we're just going to press subdivide again. Hit A to deselect everything, and go back into object mode. So now it's exactly the same shape, it just has 529 vertices and a thousand edges. And that is what we need, because now we can actually make the sand dunes appear on the plane, and that's what we want. So now we're going to go head over to the little square icon here, over here. It says text tab, and it should be selected on the brush. I'm just going to hit new. So now we are applying a texture onto this... Oh, actually, let's go back to object mode. Um, it's applying a texture to the plane, which we need. We're going to go over to this little window over here, click type, and we are going to select wood at the bottom. And now we should have these little bars here, and we're going to change it to saw, and then we're going to change it to band noise. And now we got these weird ripples, and 
what you should notice is that these kind of look like sand dunes, but not yet. In order to do that, let's go to turbulence. Let's like th type in 3.8. That looks a lot cleaner. And But we can't actually see it affecting the plane yet. So in order to do that, we go over to the modifiers tab here. Just a little wrench. Click add modifier. Go to deform. And then click... Uh, where is it? This place. Now, it, it's arisen for me, for some reason, but in order to fix that, we just go over here by clicking on this little texture thing, thing texture, and now, so we're seeing now, we're now seeing the effects of the actual texture being affected the plane, but this doesn't really look like sand dunes, these are very spiky, mountain-ish type things. So, in order to fix that, we're just going to go to the strength, and we're going to change it to 0 0.15. And now, that looks a little bit better. But in order to fix that, we're going to go add modifier again, then click subdivision surface, and change the view to 2. And that looks awesome. So that should look a lot better. I'm actually going to set to 3, 4, 5? Okay, 5 likes my computer, but um, I'm just going to set to 3 because that looks very nice. I'm going to change it. Oh, and what we need to know is that the view is what you're seeing in this little scene view here, and the render is what it'll actually render if you render an image. So if I go to render and render image, it's rendering the two subdivisions on the plane. But if I look in here, the view is actually set to three. So I set the view to three and the render to th sorry the view to two, the render to three, and we get a render image. It's actually rendering three subdivisions on your actual plane. I'm going to set to three in both, because that looks nice to my eyes. And we're going to go back to the texture tab, and we are going to add another texture by clicking this little plus button here. And we're going to set this one to Voronoi. And now, that is adding little displacements on the actual uh, on the actual plane so that it can look more realistic and bumpy just like sand. But in order to see the effects, because this is actually sending it to the second texture, we need to set it back to the first one. We're going to add another displacement modifier, and this one is going to be set to the second texture. And that's not what we want. So we're going to change it to 0 0.006, and that. If we actually, if I'm gonna, there you go. We can really see the difference if you remove it. So you turn it, this is off, this is on. It looks a lot nicer. Um, so yeah, that is the modifiers done. Actually, to make it look a little bit better on your second texture, we're gonna set the size to 0 0.06. Change the size to 0 0.03, my bad, and that looks a lot better, in my opinion. So let's make sure that this is being applied correctly, because this is set on the first texture, and this is now set on the second texture. So that looks a lot better, I reckon. Uh, just, here's the difference. And in order to, it's, it's not, it doesn't look really that smooth, if you notice. So in order to fix that, we're just going to make sure that you're in object mode. Go over to here, hit smooth, and boom. That is perfectly smooth desert. And that looks really nice as well. So now we need to actually make it look like a desert. So we're going to go to the materials tab, which is this weird circle thingy. It's like a little palette, or what it looks like in my opinion. We're going to hit new, and that you can already see that's changed the material. I'm going to do diffuse. I'm just going to try and make it look kind of that dusty, sandy feel. Yeah, that, that looks about right. Looks like sand. And I'm going to go to the specular, and if you notice, turn it all the way to zero. And this is not as shiny as you saw in the previous rendering. So if you go to render, hit it. That is completely smooth, and that looks like sand. So we're going to right-click on this lamp here, we're actually going to hit Duplicate. 
When you duplicate it, you'll notice that you'll be able to move it around and don't click anything, just hit the right mouse button and that will set it back to where uh, the original object was that you duplicated. So this is the duplicated one in exactly the same spot. And we're just going to change it under the lamp settings uh, to sun. I'm going to hit the sky and then I'm just going to set to desert. And then if we hit render, oh my bad, we need to actually change the camera view so that it actually looks pointing in direction. So go over to your camera by right clicking it, and then I'm just going to drag it out a bit with these little arrows, and then press G to move it while in the camera view. Just move it up a bit, and then I'm going to move it out even more. Because I want to see this. Press zero to see how it looks. That we'll have to do. Hit render, hit image, and you've got sort of a sky to go with your desert. But that looks a lot better. The lighting is improved if you haven't noticed. So now that we we got the render ready, we've got the sky. Um, the sand doesn't look great though. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the plane again, and then we're going to go to the textures tab, make sure you are in the material textures section, so not in this one where we got the displacement modifiers, not in the world ones, but we got on the materials, hit the new button, and then we're just going to click this and change it to noise, and we got this weird little black and white dot thing, and this will actually change how the sand will look. If you just scroll down, go here to these color settings, I'm just going to click on the color, go 0.75, and then go down onto spe specular, and then we're just going to type in 0.152, and then under geometry, we are just going to change this to 0 0.001. Then if we hit, if we go render, or if by pressing F12, we notice that the sand is pink now. So, in order to change that, we go to this little pink bit, and I'm just going to change the green, and by adding 1 to make it perfectly white, hit F12 again, and the sand actually looks like sand, which is amazing. That's what we wanted. So that is the basic tutorial on how to make a desert in Blender. Uh, just to finish it off, go to File, go to Save, Go to wherever you want to save, I'm just going to save my desktop, I'm just going to call it Desert Tutorial, uh, and save the Blender file, be saved onto your desktop, you can access it any time if you want. So that's the tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed, uh, leave a like if you want to see more of these, and yeah, thanks.